Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Brainworks, where we get creative and see if it works. Since Marie has decided not to get out of the Hades rig I did recently, I've decided to do a quick tutorial about something both riggers and rope models alike can do. The affectionately named Rigger's Gauntlet, or the Rope Gauntlet. The Rigger's Gauntlet is both tight and comfortable. It causes that deep pressure stimulation, and if we remember from my previous video about it, that deep pressure stimulation assuages anxiety, helps the wearer to calm down. It centers and grounds us. And makes us look badass. <laughs> We shall go over safe, sane, and consensual safety. Be sure to have some safety shears with you at all times. You can get new rope, but you can't get a new life or new arm in this case. Me and Marie, or me and my arm in this case, are both consenting adults. I don't want to think too much on that. I'm not going to make any jokes. I'm just going to let it go. <clears throat> It is always important to be consenting adults. Communication is key. Now let's get down to that tutorial, but before we do, we must thank our sponsors, Knothead Nylon. Knothead Nylon is the destination for all your premium nylon rope bondage needs. Easy to clean, water resistant, up to 1100 pounds of weight load, and in a wide array of beautiful, vibrant colors, Knothead Nylon will slake your rope desires. At checkout, put in discount code Rory10 for 10% off. All right, I got my silver graphite rope right here. We're gonna grab the bite, wrap it around the wrist, and basically like a girth hitch, reach in and pull through. Once we have pulled through, we'll tighten it a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're gonna take the rope, we're gonna wrap it around the arm. This first one will be the hardest one to do. It's a little bit messy and a little bit difficult, especially with one hand. Essentially, we want to create a U, and then we're gonna reach into that U, grab the rope, Pull through. And at this point in time, we're just going to secure the rope all the way around. And then make sure these little curved areas right here are nice and straight. So, the girth hitch that we originally started with and this half stitch that we did are going to be different. And this will be the only part that is different. From here on out, we're going to continually do concentric half stitches across this. So now that we've done this, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take the rope, we're going to go around the arm, straighten it out. So now that it has come around, this pattern right here is going to continue. There are going to be these parallel half stitch patterns that go down that will follow it. You can adjust it throughout. So it's not something you have to readily worry about all the time. Just mostly keeping the rope straight is what you have to worry about. So once we are around the arm, we're going to pull down, create our U. We will reach in, grab the other rope, pull through. Not something you have to do quickly. Savor the moment a little bit. So saith the Rory. Pull this way, tighten it up a little bit, not too much. Be sure to stay in constant communication with yourself. Hey Rory, is that okay? Radical. Once again, we're gonna go around, create our little U, reach in, pull through. So every one to maybe two of these half stitches, what you want to do is to see if you have any of these ropes that are not straight. Take them, straighten them out, and begin going again. Go around the arm, create our little U, reach in, pull through. That really is all there is to it until you get to the end. And you will start to see that we have this parallel concentric half stitch design going in on here. I'll show you how we can adjust that a little bit further on. Let me fast forward a bit. Whoa, time travel crazy. So as you can see, it's a little bit messed up right now. All you gotta do is go down to the bottom halves of it and start pulling. So if you go to the bottom halves of the half hitches, you can start pulling the way you want to make it and just begin adjusting it so it's a little bit more concise, a little bit cleaner, a little bit prettier. 
Now I mostly have 30 feet bundles and I'm not often doing the rigors gauntlet, but it does seem a little excessive, but at the same time, super badass. I would likely recommend more like a 20 feet or 15 feet of rope if you wanted something a little bit smaller. But if you wanted an encompassing forearm gauntlet, then by all means use 30 feet. So I have my ends of my rope right here. And here I am. Before making another half hitch, what I'm instead going to do is tighten that up a little bit. We're going to go underneath the last line of rope. We're going to cross over ourselves and then go up from underneath and out. So we're going to cross over ourselves and then we're going to go underneath ourselves. As you can see right here. So we've crossed over and now the ropes are right here. I'm going to pull those through. And I'm going to try not to pull my arm hair at the same time. Use your thumb for leverage. Tighten that up a little bit. There you go. That's the same kind of knot you would use for a single column tie. Got that little hanging, hangly dangly. And there you have your rope gauntlet. Awesome. Do you feel metal? Do you feel powerful? As well you should. Do it to both arms and go walk around like a badass. Now didn't we have fun? I hope you had as much fun learning as I did teaching you. It was a bit of a short video, yes, but it's something you can use a lot. The rope gauntlet, the riggers gauntlet, is one of my favorite things to put on myself in order to feel badass, to get into the moment of feeling like an awesome rigger. I hope it does the same for you. I hope it makes you feel good. I hope it acts like a little bit of a weighted blanket and takes away your fears, anxieties, and just makes you feel all around swell. And I would be remiss if I did not bring up my other beautiful sponsors today, the lovely people at Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Rory's Brainworks, just like this YouTube. They are my rope vanguard, my colonizers of dreams. And without them, this endeavor would be so much harder. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this madness, and comment down below what kind of Shibari or Kabaku things you would like me to teach you. As always, I'm Rory. This is my brain. I'm very certain it works. Be safe and go create some art.